Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Post the recent visit of Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh, there has been a lot of news coming up related to SWIFT and Rustam 2 and Rustam 1. However, in today's video, we will be talking in detail about SWIFT and we will talk about Rustam in a separate video. Now let's first understand about the basics of this program. DRDU's Project Aura is probably the most secretive aircraft project of the Indian government which is aimed to develop an unmanned stealth deep penetration strike bomber for the Indian Armed Forces. It is to be developed in two phases. In phase 1, a smaller version of UCAV called SWIFT a Stealth Wing Flying Testbed will be developed. In phase 2, actual and bigger UCAV will be developed which will be known as Ghatak. SWIFT will act as a flying test bed for Ghatak UAV. The test bed method is the right segue to move to a full scale product. Our today's update will be around SWIFT UCAV. This year in June, India has started ground level trials on the first assembled prototype of its SWIFT. Now it has been confirmed that the UCAV's taxi trials has been completed successfully for both slow and fast speeds. It has got clearance for the first full flight which we will be seeing soon probably by this year end. During taxi trials on the SWIFT UAV, it was tested for its sharp maneuvers turns while keeping the engine powered. During low, medium and high speed taxi trial on SWIFT UAV, its performance and instrumentations were checked and studied at the time it increases its speed. As discussed above, its first flight will be conducted before end of 2021 in which wing configuration, flying control and stealth features of the UAV will be tested. Based on the recent images released for SWIFT taxi trials, we can see an electro-optical system, UHF slash VHF antenna, C-band link, pitot tube and landing gears on the outer periphery of the UCAV. After successfully completing all these tests, the collected data will be studied. Many types of data such as control of flying wing configuration, autonomous takeoff and landing technology, retractable landing gear system, flying wing design and low radar signature will be collected from this test. Using all these test data, many more improvements will be done in it until and unless it achieves one such parameter which was kept in mind while designing the UCAV. After all the successful tests, it will be ready for development of Ghatak UCAV which will be made using this technology. SWIFT UAV is one ton scale down model of Ghatak UCAV which will weigh around 15 to 16 tons. Talking about SWIFT UAV specifications, its wingspan is 5 meters and has a length of 4 meters. It will have a range of 200 km and service ceiling of 6 km and endurance of 1 hour. SWIFT will be powered by NPO Saturn 36 MT turbofan engine. The plan is to replace it by Manik small turbofan engine STFE at later stage which was already successfully tested on Nirbhay cruise missile. The full scale Ghatak UCAVs will be powered by a dry carbon engine variant which can generate maximum thirst of 52 kN. It is said to employ a fluid thirst vectoring exhaust nozzle which will provide the ability to an aircraft rocket or UCAV to manipulate the direction of the thrust from its engine to control the altitude or angular velocity of the vehicle. It is expected that the first flight test of the first prototype of Ghatak UCAV will be conducted by 2024. The UCAV will be capable of releasing missiles, bombs and precision guided munitions it will be India's combat drone with a stealth flying wing concept aircraft, internal weapons bay and a turbofan engine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.